Another day, another book review. Discovering the power of love. The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a book that has transformed countless relationships across the world. The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. This insightful book teaches us how to better communicate and understand the love languages of our partners, friends, and family. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfy, and let's explore the five love languages together. The importance of love languages. Now, you might be asking yourself, what are love languages? Well, the concept is pretty simple. In his book, Gary Chapman suggests that each person has a primary way of expressing and receiving love. These five ways are called love languages, and understanding them can make a world of difference in your relationships. The five love languages are words of affirmation, expressing love through verbal compliments and words of appreciation acts of service showing love through actions and helpful deeds receiving gifts exchanging material tokens of love and appreciation quality time spending undivided meaningful time together Physical touch, communicating love through touch, hugs, and physical closeness. By learning and understanding these love languages, we can better communicate our feelings and needs, and also be more receptive to the love languages of others. Words of affirmation. Let's dive into the first love language, words of affirmation. For those who identify with this love language, spoken words and compliments mean the world. Words hold immense power, and a simple, I love you, or, you're doing great, can make the day. If your partner's primary love language is words of affirmation, it's essential to be conscious of the words you use. Offer sincere compliments, express gratitude, and encourage them often. Remember, negativity and harsh criticism can be particularly hurtful for those who value words of affirmation. Acts of service. Next up is acts of service. For people with this love language, actions speak louder than words. They feel loved when their partner helps with everyday tasks, surprises them with a home-cooked meal, or takes care of something they've been putting off. If your partner values acts of service, pay attention to their needs and look for ways to lighten their load. Remember. It's not about grand gestures, but small acts of kindness that show you care. Receiving gifts. The third love language is receiving gifts. This love language doesn't necessarily mean materialism. It's about the thought and effort behind the gift. A small, thoughtful token can make a big impact on someone whose primary love language is receiving gifts. To speak this love language, pay attention to your partner's interests and preferences, and surprise them with meaningful gifts from time to time. Remember, it's not about the cost, but the thoughtfulness that counts. Quality time. The fourth love language is quality time. 
People who value this love language crave undivided attention and meaningful moments together. It's about being present and creating memories, rather than merely spending time together. To nourish a relationship with someone who values quality time, make sure to prioritize focused time together. This could include date nights, deep conversations, or shared hobbies. Remember, distractions like phones or TV can hinder the sense of connection and should be minimized during quality time. Physical touch. Finally, we have physical touch. For some people, physical affection is the most powerful way to feel loved and cared for. This love language goes beyond sexual intimacy. It includes hugs, hand-holding, and gentle touches. If your partner's primary love language is physical touch, make an effort to incorporate touch into your daily routine. Simple gestures like a pat on the back, holding hands, or a comforting hug can make a world of difference. Discovering your love language. Now that we've covered the five love languages, you might be wondering how to determine your own love language and that of your partner. One way to do this is by taking the official online quiz at 5lovelanguages.com. Or, you can also have open conversations with your partner about the ways you both feel most loved and appreciated. By understanding each other's love languages, you can nurture your relationship and ensure both partners feel valued and understood. And that's it for our overview of The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. We hope this video has given you valuable insights to improve your relationships and communicate love more effectively. Remember, understanding and speaking each other's love languages is the key to nurturing a deep, lasting connection. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more book summaries and life-changing advice. We'd also love to hear about your experiences with the five love languages, so please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy reading!